Yo, yo, what's good? Welcome back to the show, baby. Listen, we have no time to waste, so we're gonna we're gonna pop right into this thing. All right, uh, Daniel B. He's telling me that uh, a rank six type enhancement doesn't give you ninety percent damage increase; it only gives you sixty. Um, I made made the mistake by saying it, it, it gave you ninety. I, I I added both the numbers after giving it a second look. I realized that wasn't the case. Plus, he commented it. So uh, just to let you know, rank six, it's only sixty, not ninety, guys. My bad. My bad. All right. Next up. Uh, this gentleman says, uh, please make a video on the tier three selector top 16 candidates. Um, more on that in a minute, more on that in a moment. Cause I actually had a lot of people asking me about this and I'll be doing it. I'll be doing it. Um, and this, this Je Jester, Jester Pinkman says, bro, is Thor tier three good or Venom tier three? Uh, that will only give me maximum benefit out of tier three selector as I don't have both at tier two, except those two. Everyone, uh, everyone else is at tier two. Okay. So he's trying to maximize his tier three selector. Um, I, I get it. I get it. Um, I, I'll, I'll tell you. I'm not, not to go into too much detail, detail, but I'll tell you. Thor is going to be better for all content besides ABX. Venom is is ABX meta uh, for for combat as it still stands. All right. Yes. And so there, there's there's a lot of lot of talk, a lot of a lot of excitement over the tier three selector, and and, and people want to know uh, where these characters are ranked. And I'll be I'll be doing a ranking. I'll be doing a ranking guide. But until then. Um, I'm going to be taking a, uh, a, a deeper dive, uh, a more extensive look into some of the characters that are on the list because, actually, actually I wrote them all down. There's 16 characters on this list, 16. So um, I'll probably be doing, I'll be probably be putting out this guide in, I don't know, maybe like four days or so, four or five days. We'll, we'll, we'll see, you know, how far I get into my investigation, but I want to get, I want to give you guys something proper here. And um, so until then... I'll be taking various characters that um, are on this list that I don't really have built up, and I'll and I'll and I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna you know switch some things around with their build, you know maybe build them up a little bit, and to see how they stack up against some other characters on this list. Um, so like a character, for instance, so like Black Bolt. Um, okay, one thing I have to mention though. Okay, so we all know you know what's going on with Rage, Pierce, and, and Chain Hit and Energies, right? Um, if you don't know, comment in the, in the comment section. Somebody will break it down for you. So Black Bolt, as, as it stands, he's got a rage, and um, he he will work with an energy. He won't work with with a judgment uh, because you know he just he does energy damage. Although you know he's got shock damage on his third, but that really that that doesn't count. Um, so he does work with an energy. And what we're going to be doing in this video, so Black Bolt's going to be kind of like our first contestant, and we're going to be. I'm going to do, you know, just a, a quick and dirty with, with this Rage in either Null or Mephisto. I haven't figured that out yet. Figure that out in just a moment. Um, and then we're going to be coming back and I'm going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to stack them with some Odin's Blessings. I don't know, maybe like eight, maybe 10. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I, I did get his, um, his ISO eight up to, up to stage nine. That's a huge bottleneck for me. Otherwise I would take it all the way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to compare him against Thor. Um, and thing is Thor, he's got, he's got a proper build on, on my, on my account because how, you know, Pierce is, is, is affecting rage and, and, you know, kind of boosting chain hit, right? So judgment is going to be the best for this guy. Um, I, I'm pretty sure energy can work, work for him as well. I did, I did a test with that and it was actually, it was, it was a lot closer than, than I think. And also I think if you had enough practice playing him with energy, I think he, he could actually be decent with it. But in any case, this man has what 14 Odin's blessings here, and he's got stage 11. So um, he's going to be even built up a little bit further than Black Bolt, but we're still going to compare him there. And I actually want to see Black Bolt um, kind of at, at like his full potential, almost at his full potential. Not 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 quite there, like I said. The ISO 8 said it's going to stay where it is, but I will give him some Odin's blessings, and I'm going to give him a mighty energy because. I got a bunch of them. I got a bunch of them for all, from all my failed attempts. And um, yeah, I'm gonna give them one with beatdown because there is a, you, you do have a little bit of time to, to, to run around between his, between his rotation because you actually have his tier three up every other rotation. So I think that could be, that could be a thing. That could be a thing and, and that, could, that could totally, you know, boost his value. You know, so for players that, I don't know, maybe don't have any Pierce on their accounts, right? Um, Rage is still gonna be, you know, kind of. 
it's gonna have it's gonna have its value you know where where it's been for you know basically this whole time because you don't have anything affecting it yet and probably even with like lower pierce on, on accounts but in any case you know um we're gonna see how he does with with an energy so um we're gonna we're just gonna we're gonna take him in where uh where his build is at right now his his uniform is is mythic all the options are mythic but where the build is at right now do a quick and dirty and then we're gonna come back out and we're gonna swap some things around and then uh we're gonna we're gonna see what this boy stands all right here we go this is uh we're gonna do the quick and dirty for for only null um before doing the swap after the swap we're gonna take him into into both mephisto and and null and see you know exactly you know that that's when we're gonna stack him up next to next to thor to see exactly how he does so let's uh let's pop into this i have two um ignore dodge striker so he's getting 40 percent uh ignore dodge you know i'm not sure if he actually has you know he's got it on his tier three i do know that he's got it uh 45 percent ignore dodge on his tier three and that is up every other rotation so you know we should we should be fine we should be fine there he doesn't have it anywhere else i don't believe yeah he doesn't have any any other ignore dodge but um we should be we should be okay we should be okay all right let's uh let's pop into this and see if um hopefully the stage isn't too high for him otherwise we're gonna have to drop down to we're gonna have to drop down to 14. all right so i believe with rage is rotation you know you, you can kind of sit in five for a second with with rage yeah this I don't know, this might be too this might be too high uh, let's find out yeah this is gonna take him a while this is gonna take him a while all right so and that's with his own lead too okay we're gonna have to drop down to 14 ladies and gents let's let's go down to 14 so 14's all 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 now i i couldn't do 15 because it is human right so it's just all human i believe yeah all human all right so stage 14 here uh we're rocking out with the with the two ignore dodge strikers let's uh let's rock and roll this should this should go uh, a bit faster. It's because you know for the for the testing purposes, um, you know, I don't think it's it's super important what stage we're on. Um, it just can't be like it can't be you know too low. Um, and obviously we want it to be we don't want it to be too high where he's not he's not actually doing. Okay, so we we got the prop um, a little early there and we got trapped up but it's okay i believe he does have the heal on his fifth it's not for a whole lot like trying to keep him alive in mephisto um can be a little bit of a challenge and again not not the not the most perfect proc but okay we had a striker on the field flag on the field are we we're not gonna die are we we're not gonna die. Okay. Can we get a proc? Can we get a proc? That's one of the problems with uh, with rage is that we can have trouble with uh, with, with the proc actually activating us, uh, especially for null. But his rotation is is pretty smooth. I definitely like his rotation. I like his skills. I like the animations. Come on, come on. Yeah, I'm tapping on that tier three. I don't know if you can see that. I'm tapping on it, but it doesn't necessarily. Okay, so um, about a minute and a half. A minute and a half it took us to get down to, this is stage 14, um, to get down to the 30 bar phase. You know what? I thought, why not? Let's let's do the quick and dirty for Mephisto as well. It should only add, I don't know, maybe a minute and a half to the total runtime of the video, and it could, prov could uh, provide some useful information here. So that's what we're gonna do. Still rocking the rage here, and the rotation is gonna look just a little bit different for for an energy, I believe. But you know the issue is going to be surviving. I'm, yeah, sometimes you know that tier three can get stuck. I, I hope that's really not an issue when I put the energy on them. Okay. So good thing we have the rage, so we can actually just go back in rotation, and not lose the proc. But now we're kind of kind of stuck but it's okay because we just we just broke them down anyway and 
cards seem to be uh, moving pretty, pretty well. But 10 is actually... Okay, we want to get out of this. We want to get trapped up here. Uh, so that's why I was just kind of spamming. This way we can have the tier 3 available here. So let me hit it. If I don't die. I should have expected that. We should have expected that. He's going to do his purpley thing now. We want it to come on this side. Here we go. He's going to try to hit us with something. Yeah, that, that attack I do not like. We're going to pull ourselves out of it. Yeah. Because that, that's a thing there. That is a thing. The Rage Outburst. And you definitely don't want to get stuck in there, as you all know. It's not fun. Not a fun thing. I mean, he's not that slow, but he's not all that fast. Yeah, I, I could see canceling all those skills on every other rotation possibly being an issue. Okay, you should push him down. There we go. Okay, so 321. 321 a minute and uh, about, you know, what, a minute and 39 seconds it took us to... Uh, this is stage 10. This is this is rather low for me. I don't, I don't play stage 10. The lowest stage that I'm playing now is, is 19, so... Let's hope this is a massive increase for him. Let's see how he actually compares to, to Thor. Because Thor's, Thor's pretty good. Thor, yo, yo, it's just your sneaky bandit popping in here doing his thing, man. Here to tell you that, listen up. You uh, you you don't have a whole lot of time here to, to get this done. You got 13 hours. So this video, it should be posting a couple hours from now. So from, from the time this video posts, you'll have, you'll have like 11 hours to, to spend your tokens. Don't be a knucklehead like me, because I've done this in the past many a times where I just forgot to get the item in here, forgot to spend my tokens, but I've been a good little uh, sneaky band, and I spent most of my tokens. I have 70 left here, and um, I mean, I, obviously, for those who didn't get any additional tokens, you're going to want to get the CTP selector, or I don't know, if you want the, the tier 2 um, ticket. Um, although we're getting two, we're getting two in the check-in event. So I suggest you get the CTP selector. Um, these are always a hot item for me. I usually, you know, try to grab those. There are work cards in here. I, I, I ended up getting those as well. Um, but whatever suits your needs, friend, whatever suits your needs. All right, sneaky bandit out. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let me show you what I did. So I went ahead and I gave him eight Odin's Blessings. He's got four uh, four magics, and then, you know, it really didn't matter what other Odin's Blessings I, uh, I gave him. Everything is capped except crit rate. Um, well, dodge really doesn't matter with the, with the energy. Um, but he does. He gets a 40% uh, percent crit rate um, buff from his fifth skill. Um, his fourth isn't giving him anything other than uh, a guard hit. So you don't necessarily need to use that in the rotation. But his third, is, it gives him the accumulation. Um, thing is this, it's, it's only for 7 seconds and the cooldown time on it is, is 18. So it's 9 seconds. So before 3 is uh, comes off cooldown again, there's a there's a 2 second, uh, a, a two second period where that accumulation um, wouldn't necessarily be up. But that's fine because you're basically canceling all the skills into, you know, into the skill you're procking on and, and also to the tier three. Um, I mean, that's typically how, how it works with, with an energy anyways. Um, oh, no. Guys, you, you'll, you'll never believe what just happened. So I, I accidentally, um, I thought they were all rolled with the 200 proc. I forgot I, I tried rolling one of them. And it had a 180 proc on it, and I thought I was gonna have to unequip it and to put a different one on, right? And that's what 800 crystals uh, on the first, on the first, <laughs> on the first one that I combined it with. I got a 200 proc with actually some some decent ignore dodge. Actually, the stats are better than than what they were with the 180. So that is uh, that's a blessing in disguise. 800 crystals back in my pocket. All right, so moving on now, moving on. Um, so yeah, that's what I did. He's got he's got this one uh, with five percent beat beat down on it. Now let's go ahead. All right, jumping back into Null for the second time. Um, so I feel like I feel like it might be it might be difficult to to get that proc up on every other rotation with the tier three, um, just because a tier three likes to stick, and we all know about sticky tier threes, right? Um, that did not sound right. Okay, yeah, you want to do three, five, four. Rock on the four. That's 
going to be. It's going to be the best thing. See if we can outrun this. Might be able to. Yes, indeed we do. Now, this is where... If I go four... There we go. There we go. That's what you want to do. Trying to hit the tier three after the four can be difficult. So maybe resort to doing four into the... You know, using four first. That might be the thing that you actually want to do with him with an energy. You want to watch out for the wonker there. I want to charge up this beat down. I'm going to try this again. Hit. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. it it's definitely a little tricky, but uh, it's definitely possible. It's possible. And look how much faster he is. We get a proc here. Look how much faster he is. It was at uh, 4.05. We, we clocked in at 3.30 before. Um, and I... I would, I would believe even even without the Odin's blessings that that time would it would still be pretty pretty close to this um, because his I, I think his his energy his energy attack went went up about I think eight thousand um, somewhere around there but let's um let's let's take let's take him into Mephisto now and see uh, how much faster he actually is there here we go Mephisto take three same team same strikers. So, you know, I want to know how many of you guys actually play Black Bolt with an energy and uh, first off, what rotation you use and secondly, uh, what kind of obstacles you run into keep trying to keep the proc uh, on point. If you if you proc every other rotation, you know, I'm going to try not using his tier 3 um, because right here to see if we can actually break him down. There we go. And then I could just pop his tier 3 right away here. Because I don't even have to use the 4. That, that kind of creates a, a little bit of an issue. Okay. I might be able to... Okay. So I hit the 3, which is... Okay, we got we to gotta run. We got to run. We got our movement speed debuffed here. And... So I went, I went against my rotation and I used the tier three after. Wow, wow! So he was 321 before. He's even much faster um, for Mephisto than he actually was for for Mr. Null. There, that's uh, that's pretty outstanding. All right, here we go. Okay, so I, I said I was going to compare him against Thor, right? Uh, another character that you can select from. You know, it's available with the tier three selector. Um, the builds aren't exactly the same. I know I showed you this before, but, you know, just to reiterate here, he's got, uh, 14 Odin's Blessings. Um, he has a stage 11, and he, he has the Judgment. Now, uh, Black Bolt, just to show you guys, you know, he, he only has, he has the 8, and he has a stage 9 with the Mighty Energy with the Beatdown. So, just take that into consideration. You know, both their uniforms are mythic. Um, everything else is, is basically the same so how i'm gonna run this is i'm gonna give thor beta ray bill's lead and then when it's black bolt's time i'm gonna give black bolt his own lead he gets an additional five percent but let's go ahead let's run thor first here's three ignore not strikers just because i think the verdict is is still kind of still kind of out there whether or not ignore dodge actually uh facts it, it might pierce might might be interfering with that a little bit i'm not too sure i'll have to do uh you know some more testing when that time comes But here we go. I don't run Thor much, so I honestly don't have a whole lot of experience running Thor. So um, be gentle with the uh, criticism there. I just, I just, I'm kind of, kind of spamming a little bit here. But you know, I don't know. His rotation is rather, rather spammy. Can I get his tier three up? No. Not, not, not quite. So we're gonna wait. He's gonna do his 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 stun machine here, right? Where's your stun machine? There it is. There it is. Okay. And we're just gonna charge up his four, his accumulation, and all that. And there we go. We got the whole tier three inside the proc. I think that worked out pretty well for us. Okay. We did not get the. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. I got a. I had to switch. There was there was no way around that. Um, this take this usually takes about ten seconds, anyways. 
So, yeah, I'll be able to get Thor back before, before that's over. Okay, here we go. And get most of the tier three inside the croc there. When we break them down here, we should be able, there we go. Okay, so 333 is where he clocked in. This is stage 12 now. The stage is a little bit, you know, it's different. I honestly, I, I probably could have just ran the same exact stage and, and seen where, where he clocked in there. But let's go ahead and, and run Black Bolt now. All right, here we go. Uh, stage 12, just like I, I ran Thor. And it's the same, same team except Black, Black Bolt's in his lead, uh, giving himself his, his own leadership, which is very nice for Black Bolt, right? He, he has his own... Uh, insane leadership 65% to, to all attacks that's not too shabby okay so we got uh, kind of got the proc very late proc but that's okay okay so it seems like 435 actually works out pretty well um, doesn't seem to stick as much one thing that's going to be a problem is you kind of want that tier three ready when okay because i'm not going to be i'm not going to be able to hit the tier three right now i'm going to have to just do his regular rotation because first of all this was going to happen and if he did this little stun machine there it wasn't going to work out too well for us so all we need is three and five uh off cooldown those are the skills that give us a buff we actually did not charge up the beat down not charge up the beat down we'll get it here though okay we got we got the rage up okay so this is basically the same thing it seems like he's he's a bit faster though like i feel like if i got that beat down on um if i got that beat down on that tier three he would he would be done possibly if anything it would be very close so he's he's definitely faster than than thor right yeah, I forgot to write down his his his, uh, his time, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's faster. Let me go check, and I'll be right back. All right, so I just went and checked, and Thor clocked in at 3:33. Black Bull clocked in at 3:47. Now I'm thinking that if I had the beat down charged up on that very last rotation, that he might have been able to push him down and avoid that rage outburst phase altogether, which he would have he would have clocked in uh, like over over four minutes. So it would have been like less than a minute for Black Bolt. So. Uh, what do we learn? We learned that uh, Black Bolt, he um, built right, given the right tools, um, he can be, he can be pretty effective. So um, he may be a viable con candidate uh, for for this tier three selector. Would you should you choose him? You know, above Thor, I can't say that yet. I can't say that yet. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing more testing with these characters and then bringing you a, a cohesive. Uh, a cohesive ranking guide list so um we still have time right we still have we still have what a, a few weeks we have we have until d-day um i'll check on what you know when that exact date is and i'll bring you the list you know well before then so this way you know you have um you have all the information you need to make your selection and to reiterate here um thor has he's got the 14 odin's blessings stage 11 and then black bolt he has eight stage nine so the fact that he's he's clearing it faster than him is is like i said it's, it's quite impressive um so um about about this list and making your selection i suggest that you know I, i'm pretty sure other other creators have made made these lists already but i would i would strongly recommend that that you check out mine once i do put that up um just because I'm going to be taking a closer look at these characters and try to try to test them out uh, on the same parameters. Like I'm actually, um, I'll I'll probably most definitely be doing Black Widow now with this uniform, with uh, with this uniform here um, against Mephisto in particular, just because she's speed and um, I energy is going to work work well for her. Um, I'm not quite sure if if it'll be beat down or if we, or if it'll be all attack. Um, I'll figure that out once once I get there. Um, so there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. I, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so uh, you better stay tuned. You stay breezy. But most of all, friend, you stay safe out there now. Peace.